What is up, you wonderful people? It is I, Nima, and today I want to talk about a game that I picked up that I believe has been overlooked. That game is called Clan O'Connell and the Crown of the Stag. But before we get into that, I do want to remind you guys to please hit that like and subscribe button. We are so close to being able to handle Xerxes' army. We are so close to hitting that 300 mark, which would be so awesome, guys. Seriously, I never thought that we would be this close. I'm only after a year, and I know like there's some channels that blow up huge, but it means a lot to me that like we're at least almost there and this community keeps getting bigger and better there's so much more interaction i just you guys are awesome i love y'all but anyway so clan o'connell is an interesting game just based on the fact that the main character is actually three people you are three siblings who you're looking to rescue your father chief ardenan who was kidnapped by corker ranch i think that's how you pronounce her name she's the mother of demons it's at the same time that she kidnapped him she also stole the crown of the stag in order to incite a war between the mortals and the fairy folk. Now, not only do you need to save your father, you also have to stop this war. I also appreciate the fact that this game draws from a lot of, like, Celtic mythology that I think really does take it to a different place, especially if you're familiar with any of it. You can definitely appreciate some of the references, the enemies, the bosses, things of that nature that really come through with this game. Now, this game is an action-adventure platformer, which I don't often review, and I was asked to look at a few different style of games more often. Shooters, horror games, and platformers. Now, I have to say, shooters, I'm just not going to be a good one to go to. Horror games, some of them are really good, but honestly... In your mid-30s, you're less scared of zombies and clowns and more scared to it spread to the liver or the IRS wants to audit you. You know, that kind of thing is far more terrifying. But platformers and the action-adventure... 2D style, I really do appreciate a lot of them. And that's where this game does kind of come off, is there's a huge payoff for anybody who enjoys that style. It really reminds me of, like, Guacamole meets, like, Donkey Kong, which, for me, it's a great series. Like, I like the pacing. I like the fact that this game is always pushing you, which I appreciate, because there's so many of these... Oh, I, w I wouldn't say a lot, but there's a number of games in this style where there's a lot of exploration, and I feel like needless exploration is where this is pretty straightforward. Like, you have your goal, and this is where you need to get, now you need to figure out how to get there. you got some puzzle solving to do, which is going to require you to switch between siblings. Uh, each one has their own, like, not only traversal style, but their own fighting style as well, which does become really important with different enemy types, as well as just puzzle solving itself. Like, there are some characters who just literally can't do certain things, like lift heavy objects, or a clap shot happens to be, like, the only one who can use a ranged attack, so you're going to need her for anything that requires you to hit a far-off object. There's a number of just back and forth with the siblings that I really appreciate with this game. Now, I also really like like the hand-painted style. It looks beautiful, not to mention the fact that the audio is really good as well. And just when you think about the presentation aspect, when you look at like graphics and the way the characters really kind of pop off the screen, I think they did a great job. Now, I will say that the downsides of this game might be, for one, if you're a veteran of like the side-scrollers, 2D platformers, action-adventure games, if you're a vet, you might find this to be pretty easy. And it might be like a walk in the park for you. I still think you'll appreciate the puzzle solving. Because I really do think a lot of it's really unique. But at the same time, I would just say, like, I'm not very good at a lot of these games. There's a number of them that have given me just a hard time. And I've not really had much problems with this game. I found it to be pretty easy. And that speaks volumes when I say it's pretty easy. And uh, let's just say this game's kind of short. I, I would argue it's 8 to 10 hours. But it's hard to say for sure. Um, Just, like, that's one of the big noted things on on it but one of the really good things is right now this game is 40 percent off and that is as of june 6th 2022 the game is 40% off. So here in America, it's like 525, I think, which is a great deal. And I think namely just because it's kind of overlooked right now. And so it's a good time to pick it up. I really enjoyed it. Said so I can't think of any other issues I've had with it, like performance wise, no issues. The only thing I think is maybe a little on the short side. People who want to challenge might have an issue, but I think you can also overcome that with uh, other options that you can choose. But anyway, that's my thought on Clan O'Connell. If you haven't checked it out yet, I definitely 
highly suggest picking it up now, especially if you're interested. The sale is only going to be on for, I think, another five days, but I don't take my word for that. I'm not 100% sure. And Switch does a really bad job on their eShop. Now, you can't read any information once you already have a game. Even online, it's really hard to find that information. So I, uh, I apologize for that. But anyway, guys, I truly, truly appreciate you guys. You're all awesome. Uh, each and every one of you, all your comments, your obviously the subs, the likes, all that stuff too is fantastic. But I really do appreciate hearing from you. Like, and that means a lot. Uh, anyway, I am curious what you guys think about this game or what games you're going to pick up in June, what you're excited for in June. We have a lot going on. And I know me and a, a few of the creators are going to be streaming, uh, the new Mario Strikers, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, guys, I appreciate you. Have a great day. Bye bye. Oh, it's out of breath. Like, I really can't stand this whole allergy season. You're killing me. I think I sound like I'm out of shape and I'm not.